Oh, it's a dead shark. Oh, it's a dead shark. Oh, it's going belly up. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Trail Makers. And today we are back experimenting with the water update. And today I want to do a fish. And by that, I mean a water vehicle that actually swims around. I mean, obviously we can't swim underwater, but I'm gonna try to build something that it's mode of propulsion. I don't know if this is gonna work, but it's mode of propulsion. I'm gonna try to make its tail actually uh, paddling back and forth. I know that they've updated the water physics. I don't know how accurate the water physics is. I don't know uh, what the water resistance is like when it comes to things like the, the fins and stuff. So I'm hoping that we can make the fin be the main motor propulsion. If not, then I'm gonna have the fin be the turning because I think that'll at least work. But I kind of want to create something that looks somewhat like a shark uh, with uh, a tail and a dorsal fin and some side fins and stuff. And then see if we can get it to swim through the water and do its thing. Now the main challenge to this I think is gonna be uh, just designing it overall and uh, making it buoyant and level in the water. But um, I think that using the fins, the, the, the aerodynamic blocks, these tail fin things here, these kind of look really good for like shark fins and things like that. The only thing is we don't have a lot of freedom of shape. So the dorsal fin, the pectoral fins, and the tail fins are all going to have the same dimensions and the same size. So that's not going to be the most accurate, biologically accurate thing. But uh, it's what we have to work with. We have relatively limited parts that actually are aerodynamic or water dynamic. I mean, air and water are both fluids, right? So it makes sense. All right, well, I'm gonna do my best to design the first draft of this thing and we'll see where we're at at the uh, end of the build. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a completely untested design of some kind of a shark. I mean, it, it's got a mouth, it's got pectoral fins, it's got dorsal fins, it's got even like the tail fin. And I'm really hoping that this thing floats to begin with and then can actually propel itself underwater. But honestly, I don't like, there's not a lot of floating stuff back here. I, I put some inside the tail here. The whole body is filled with floating stuff. There's no floating. Oh, actually, no, there is floating stuff in the mouth, right? In like the, the little, again, in the, inside the jawline. But I saved it. We're going to go ahead and turn this thing around. And uh, this actually looks way better than I expected it to look. Like when I started building this thing, I was like, I'm not going to do a good job at making this thing look like a shark. 
But here we go. First test. Does it float? In three, two, one. Maiden voyage. It's welding. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, no. One thing I didn't consider is weight. We have to have more weight on the bottom. Oh, it's a dead shark. Oh, it's a dead shark. Oh, it's going belly up. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> oh, this is not a good start to our shark experiment. Look, it's perfect. It's like a perfect belly up shark. All right. All right. We need to clearly, clearly we need to make some adjustments here. All right. Well, somehow I'm magically able to stay inside my seat, even though it's upside down. So we're going to do a quick test here on... Will the will the tail fin propel us? Because this is this is like this is the end all be all of this experiment. Is does the tail fin work? All right. Well, look at that. We can actually turn it just the way we want to. Is it propelling us? It does not look like it's propelling us. Wait, press R to repair. Not enough space to repair. Okay. All right. We cannot repair ourselves. All right. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, my my idea. The whole entire mode of propulsion with my idea is not feasible here because this tail, despite wagging back and forth, does not appear to have any effect whatsoever on um, our propulsion. So this could be a blessing in disguise. Plan B is to use the tail not as propulsion, but as turning and instead actually add propeller, uh, the propeller motors, the boat, underwater boat motors on this thing. And what we can probably hopefully do if they're heavy enough we can add them to the bottom of our shark and maybe it'll help tip us back over. I don't know, but first we need to actually get this thing kind of back on land. Oh, look at our shadow over there. Our shadow looks like legit fish. That's pretty awesome. All right, um, is, is it working? I actually feel like it's, it's kind of working. V like not efficiently at all, but like kind of, I feel like we're making our way towards shore here. If I did this long enough, then maybe Maybe we'd make oh, look we're going we're going we're dead shark swimming <laughs> This is stupid. Okay, so we need to add a lot more weight to the bottom So the seat weighs 31 kilograms. Oh, and there's all this this weight up here These things weigh like what like 2.5 kilograms. So we need more weight on the bottom. All right underwater propeller weighs 12.5 kilograms so maybe if I put enough of these under here, where am I even going to put them? This is actually concerning because that that bottom section was holding a lot of this together. You know what? What if we actually put that back and then we just expand onto that? We actually just add a little bit more to the bottom of this shark. So that way we keep the weight of this entire thing. And then what does it look like if I just put these right underneath here? We're just going to put a bunch of these down here. Huh? So what about that? What if we just do that? That should be enough weight. And let's add just a little bit more shaping, a little bit more aesthetics here. Uh, this is probably not going to be great for the design of it, but uh, we need functionality now. We have the design. Now comes the part where we have to make sacrifices for the sake of functionality. So we're just going to give him a big fat belly. Maybe it's a pregnant shark. It's pregnant with uh, propellers. There we go. Look at that. Look at all the shark babies. Got a bunch of shark babies down there. Unfortunately, oh, actually, you know what? I could change these out and replace those with some of these. And this just adds a little bit more contouring. I mean, it looks really kind of awkward. A little bit awkward. You know what? We're just going to keep it like that. All right, does that look like a little bit better? Maybe a little bit? All right, so hopefully this is enough weight at the bottom so that we do not flip over and we can say bottom into the water. All right, Mr. Shark. Mr. Shark, come on. Float? Actually, now that I've added all that weight, I hope it still floats. Okay. Oh. What? Come on, tail. Get up there. All right, this is a little bit weird. It's actually kind of interesting having the head come out of the water. It almost has like a crocodile kind of feel with the, with that mouth. Maybe maybe this is a prehistoric, like uh, an ancient like dinosaur ocean creature or something. Okay, so I should be able to... Um, with the fins underneath, I should be able to angle them down slightly so they look a little bit better than the mouth. I think I can open. Oh, oh, that opens a little bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, that's the voice that I imagine with this. 
before we do the engines, let's just test really quick. Does this still not work? Okay, this still does not work. This looks like a, oh wait, it's kind of working. It's actually kind of working. I am, I swear I am not using, I am not using the propellers at all. If I'm using, this is, all right, I'm gonna activate the propellers now and see what this does. All right, propellers, whoa. All right, and now I can I turn? Look at this. This is actually pretty awesome. The only thing is, I, I don't like that the uh, the mouth is up too high, which means I got either too much buoyancy in the front or not enough buoyancy in the back. So I'm wondering if we can make some of those adjustments, but what I'm really surprised at is that this seems to work, and I think maybe what's making it work is that the entire tail is now underwater, so it's catching more of the water as opposed to before when only like half the tail was underwater. So that could actually be what's happening here. This definitely works. It's just kind of sad at how slow it is. Oh, look at it. Look at his mouth. Look at his mouth. It's just, it's handy. You know what? I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like um, I'm going to attach the mouth uh, controls to the steering. So that way, as I steer back and forth, ooh, look at that. We beached ourselves. As I steer back and forth, the mouth is going to just open and close. However, I am going to put the angle down to like 25 degrees instead of like the 42 degrees that it was at. Make it look a little bit less derpy. All right, so now this is what happens. That's, that's how much the mouth opens. And whenever I turn left, the mouth will just open. So it's like, it just has a constant talking face going on. Okay, so now I have the issue of buoyancy. Um, can we get rid of, I mean, can we add any buoyancy to the tail back here? I mean, it looks pretty well stocked up here. Let me delete this middle thing. See if we can get an extra view in here. Oh, we could definitely add some buoyancy in there. Oh, yeah. All right. I've been able to put a medium one right in there, and I should be able to put a bunch of smaller ones right on the top here. So if I go out, up, over, there we go. And I can copy one, two, three, four. Okay, three more of those. All right. So that should have added a bunch of buoyancy back here. And I guess I'll just take out something from the front. All right. I'm going to try to take out... Oh, where is it? I'm gonna try to take out this front one right there, but I gotta be able to click on it is the problem. Get in here, click on this one. I think that's it. Yep, yeah, that's it. Delete that. All right, so we should have um, we should have been able to shift a lot of our buoyancy to like the back center here. So hopefully we'll be more level. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. What's the buoyancy gonna do? Oh, our tail is kind of interfering with our test here. All right, let's just go forward a little bit. That's like perfect. All right, let's get things set. We got our fins set, and let's just try really quick, see if this actually does any better or worse. <laughs> Look at his mouth. Oh, it's great. All right, so this is uh, this is pretty near useless doing it like this. Now let's see how the uh, propulsion actually treats us. All right, it makes us like skim kind of on top of the water there, and turning is actually great. Whoa, oh, is that, whoa, we're a dolphin now. We're a dolphin. Okay. All right, this isn't bad. This is not bad. And of course the propulsion is gonna make me tip up because it's below our center of mass. So it's just naturally gonna wanna make us kind of like turn with our tail backwards. There's really not a whole lot I could do about that unless I replace some of, it, unless I moved it up closer to the center here, but we don't have a lot of room for that. And I don't wanna put any buoyancy things down there. You know what? Let's try. Let's just try really quick. Let's try to see that we might actually be able to make this shark look a lot cooler and be more, uh, be more usable in the water. All right. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to open up the middle here. And what I'm going to try to do is, um, basically move these up into the body and hope that we're going to have enough room to like stick them in there somewhere. I don't know. This is going to be tough because these are taking up a lot of space, but I might just replace these with, uh, some of the smaller ones all right here we are ladies and gentlemen this is the redesign so it no longer has the pregnant belly and the only thing i'm hoping is that uh the weight is the weight and buoyancy is going to be distributed in a way that keeps it afloat and level i really don't know if that's the case i i did a lot of it actually took a lot of time a lot of work to actually dig i was literally like going in here with my camera and like rearranging things you can see that those I have four uh, underwater propellers inside here now. 
So I'm a little bit worried that it might be a little bit heavy in here. And I tried to add a bunch of these like uh, one by two um, pontoons to help with the buoyancy. So I'm hoping that it's not going to be too heavy and that those one by two pontoons will do enough to uh, kind of help it float. I've actually, I've lost a couple right here, but let's see if it floats. Oh no. Oh, 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 okay. Hey, that's not bad. That's actually looking really good. All right, now let's, oh no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't flip over. Do not die on me, shark. Do not die on me. I put like most of, almost every single one of those pontoons is at like the top of the body of the shark. So I'm hoping that keeps us afloat. Oh no. All right, so that's interesting. That is not what I expected. It looks like maybe our maybe our propulsion is actually too high above the center of mass now. Because it's pointing our nose down. Hmm. Oh, and turning does not do us any favors. Turning does not, like, it just, it goes, it puts us right into the ground. Okay, let's try to get back on a land over here. See if we can troubleshoot this. I love the look of this so much better now, but I just, I have to keep the nose up. Oh, <gasps> I have a brilliant idea. I have planned for this. I have planned for something like this. Oh, wait, where do you see this? Ready, you ready for this? Are you ready? I don't know if you're ready for this. I don't know if you're ready for this genius that I had planned for. But uh, these pectoral fins, they actually don't just turn down this way. There's actually another, actually we got it. We can't even see it. We can't even see it. This, this is a turning thing right there. Oh no, that's the, that's the jaw. That's the jaw. Where is it? Right there. I see it right. Come on. Right, go get, give it to me. I just want to select it, please. Just right in here. There it is, right there. Oh, but we're blocked. We're blocked down here. So we need to make, uh, we need to make some, we need to carve this out a little bit so we can give it some room, but we're going to have the fins go down a little bit. So that way they're going to pick up some water as we go forward. So hopefully it'll actually push our nose up so we don't have to make any other adjustments. The only problem is right now there is um, belly preventing these things from actually going down. So we're going to have to make a pretty big adjustment here to allow this to curve down. All right, so here's the plan. I'm not going to put it in the water yet so I can show you what's actually happening. And then that way we can actually do it in the water. So now when I press Y... Oh... It's not working. It's not working. There is something preventing them from tilting down. And I can't see anything actually interfering with them in there. Oh, wait, now I do. This block. This block is the culprit. Got to get rid of that block there. Okay, now it should work. When I press Y, you can see that they're actually going to angle downwards like that. So hopefully they'll catch water and push my nose up. Okay, so this is good. This is good. Let's test it out. All right, so now if we use the gas, you can see that it's clearly tilting our nose underwater to the point where we go underwater. So now let's see what happens if we tilt our fins the way we want to, and then we hit the gas. Oh! <gasps> what? Wait, what? What just happened? Th that was weird. Oh, it lifts our engines out of the water. That's not good. All right, clearly we just need to we we just need to make the angle softer, right? Right? That's what we need to do. We just need to make the angle softer so that it doesn't lift our engines out of the water. This is a tough. This is really tough to like fine tune this. All right. This is kind of like the hydrofoil thing now. I'm just going to go five degrees because even five degrees when we were doing the hydrofoil episode, which is the last episode, you check that out if you haven't. Um, even five degrees was keeping us on top of the water. So I should have learned from that, I guess. All right. There we go. We're at five degrees now. Oh, oh. All right. Five degrees isn't enough. All right. Ten degrees it is. All right, here we go. We're at 10 degrees now. Hey, this is working. How's turning? Oh, no, turning doesn't work. You know what? I feel like just uh, we need to add more buoyancy to the front, less buoyancy to the back. I'm going to take that thing. I'm going to actually remove all the buoyancy from the tail and take that one out of the back and see if we can have any room in the front to put any buoyancy because right now i think there's it's it's mostly a buoyancy issue looking at just how it sits in the water okay so i was able to remove some buoyancy from the back and add a surprising amount of buoyancy up into the front like in here all these little things are kind of new so i'm hoping that this evens things out a little bit and doesn't make us too uh heavy in the back 
All right. Okay. Okay. This is looking better. This is looking better. Oh, look at that. This is the engines without actually having my fins tilted at all. So this is good. Now I'm going to tilt my fins. Now it's probably going to be too much. Uh, yeah. Now it brings me up out of the water. So I'm going to go for um, a 10... Or no, I'm going to go back to 5 degree tilt on the fins and see if that helps me at all. Turning for some reason still puts me underneath the water. Which is kind of weird. A little bit. Actually, you know what? Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, five degree tilt, and then I think that's going to be as fine-tuned as we can get. All right, and here we are with the five degree tilt. It looks perfect. This looks perfect. How does turning work? Not bad. And with the five degree... Oh. <laughs> um, not good. Not, not, not perfect. It's not perfect. Tilting is still a little bit weird for some reason. Um, oh, wait. Am I... Are my fins at? Yeah, my fins are tilted. So turning for some reason makes me want to go down. Kinda. It's a little bit finicky. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe if I was to like adjust my tail so it tilts up a little bit. I don't know. But I'm I'm relatively happy with the way that this looks. I mean, it looks like a shark kind of. It feels good. It goes. I can go where I want to go. I just can't be too uh, reckless with the turning. That's the only thing about it, but uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, look at this thing. It's got the articulating mouth. It's got it's got the articulating tail. I'm just I'm really sad that the tail isn't as strong of a uh, force in the water as I was hoping it was going to be. But all in all, I think Plan B worked out great. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for other ways to play with the water updates. Um, if not, I have other ideas for non-water-based creations, which you might do just to take a little break and uh, uh, change things up a bit in the next episode. I can't wait to actually start to try out the idea that I have for, um, for the non-water-based stuff. So let me know what you guys think of this creation. What was your favorite part of this episode? I always like when you guys leave timestamps down in the comments so I can watch the same part as well and know exactly what you're referring to. Anyway, I look forward to seeing where this series is going to go. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.